Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Research Design Build. In today's episode, I wanna go back to some 3D printing and talk about trying to resume failed prints. Your print might have failed for a number of reasons. If you got an older 3D printer, it could be a power outage, could have goofed up like I have several occasions and accidentally canceled your print. This can either be when you pause it or it jams and rather than going to resume, you go to the next line down on the Prusa which is cancel print and you're stuck with a print that's half done or uh, I have also had it where the uh, extruder isn't grabbing the filament uh, strongly enough and isn't pushing it down and so it continues printing but no filament is actually coming out. In this video I am going to show you how you can go back and hopefully save your prints go into the G code on your computer and create a new file so you can go back and resume it. So here I've got uh, one of my uh, two inch by two inch storage boxes that I am printing right now. And we are gonna stop this print, cancel it, and then hopefully resume it. I'm gonna pause print. Now, when you do go here, what I've done before is scroll down. I wanna hit resume, but I hit stop print. And I say yes, because I'm thinking that yes, I want to resume. And print's aborted. Now with the print aborted, uh, the one thing we have here is our bed temperature set to zero uh, rather than 60. So to save this, uh, we want to go right into our settings here. And we want to go to temperature and we want to set this bed temperature back to 60 so that it holds it at 60. And this would vary depending on what filament you're using, but we're using, uh, I'm using PLA right now, so that's what we want for that. And so now we can kind of relax. Now this print's gonna stay stuck to the board. We've got the bed temperature is gonna stay at 60 and we've got some time to verify uh, and uh, get that new G-code ready so that we can resume this. Now we need to figure out what layer height this is at. One way you can go do it is that it has gone up uh, to 37 millimeters. And so I believe when you do cancel, it will go up automatically by 30 and then spit it out. So we should be at seven millimeters, but let's say you had a power outage and you weren't sure. The other thing you can go to is settings here and move axes. So now what we're gonna do is move these axes over so that we can try to see where the height is. So there we're at eight and there we're at seven. So if you look, you can see that the nozzle is just right at that edge. So we're gonna move that back up. And we're gonna leave it there. So working on the G-code, Prusa has made this quite easy. You wanna go and save that same G-code file uh, that you were printing on and you wanna open that up in uh, a Word format or a, uh, you know, any text sort of processor, just as a, a pure text file. And you'll be able to read that G-code. We're gonna alter that G-code, save it um, in the same format, in a G-code format, and then restart that. If there's a semicolon on the left-hand side, whatever is to the right of the semicolon is just text, is stuff that, that the printer is not going to read. Um, so you can put notes and that sort of thing in there. Prusa has done a really good job of generating their G-code in that they have a lot of comments. There's all of the uh, different specifications and it tells you when it's changing layer height as well. So when you open the G-code up, the first page is basically all of the presets. So that's setting the printer up with your layer height changes, it's doing a nozzle diameter check, it's doing all of those sorts of things, it's setting your bed temp, it's setting your uh, extrusion temp, it's waiting for, for those temperatures to get up. And then about three quarters of the way down, you get into the uh, 
G28W commands, and they even have a, a comment there of home all without bed level mesh, and then mesh bed leveling. And so those we want to stick a semicolon in front. Starting on your second page, uh, that is giving it some uh, initial coordinates and starting uh, your skirt. So that's where we basically want to start deleting. But what we're gonna do here is we're going to go to find and we're going to do layer change. And so we've got 576 situations where this comes up and we're just gonna scan through here and what you'll be able to see is that this height, this Z height keeps going up. And so we're looking for where it's gonna go all the way to seven. Here, here we have it, right? It says after layer change and it's seven. All from here down, we want to keep that and everything above that we want to delete. And as you can see, we're on page 274, so we need to delete 273 pages worth of this G code. And the way I like to do it is zoom out as much as we can. That's why I highlighted it in red. And then we can start going all the way up here. And we will just delete all of these pages. Now remember, we still want to keep the first page because that's setting up all of our base information here. All right, so now we're basically starting this whole print at the seven millimeter layer height. Now this would have failed at some point during that seven millimeter layer height. So it is going to reprint um, some of that, which is gonna you know, leave you a little artifact on that print. All we need to do here is hit save. Now it will give you a error code here because you are saving it in a .g code format and it's asking you whether you wanna change it to a word format. To save, you click yes, that's what you wanna do because you do want it to go back into that G code format. So the next step, just to verify that we're actually gonna do what we're saying we're doing here, what we're going to do is open up a Prusa G code viewer, uh, which you can download from Prusa, and that is gonna allow us to run that G code that we just created and hopefully that's looking like it's about seven millimeters off the build plate. Here we have it up on the screen and what it is looking like is it is looking like our box but with no bottom on it. And so if we turn this ever so slightly, we can see that it looks like it's building off, off the build plate and is high up in the air. So that is good. So we've obviously deleted that bottom half We've gone to that seven millimeters. Now it's a case of saving this uh, G code uh, to the memory card and putting that back in the printer and resuming our print. We have it reloaded here and we've got our restart of our storage bin. We're gonna start that one. I haven't updated my firmware yet. And you can see our bed temp is still at 60. That's where we left it and we're just waiting for the nozzle to heat up to temp before we start. So we're already up two layers. So we're up at 7.4 millimeters right now. So we've gone up two full layers and you can see there's a little bit of a ridge there where we've uh, joined them, but uh, we have saved this print. All right guys, so here is the final print. Now this is where we stopped it. This is right around the seven millimeter mark and there is a line there and probably pushed it down a little bit here so this isn't completely straight. But overall, for the use of this part, this is going to be just fine. And it saved us quite a bit of time versus reprinting this whole bottom piece. So the larger your print is, the more time this could potentially save you. So now you know how to resume your print 
and you can save yourself some time and save yourself some material. If you've enjoyed this content, please consider subscribing. And as always, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll make sure to get back to you. Until next time, we'll see you later.